Recently, I've been looking around for some small projects to do just with scrap, and I don't want to get into anything too big right now because we're going to France soon, and I'm also still working on the router table. Sorry guys, it's coming, uh, but that's taking, that's a very big project, and um, it's nicer weather out right now so I don't have as much time to work on that but I wanted to get a small project out for you so I decided to knock out this little bandsaw box now this is made out of uh, three woods I used oak in the back here and then cherry and uh, cherry here here and then some walnut here and here and this came out really well and I'm going to be giving this to um, my cousins that live in France and so right here the little drawer pull is supposed to be France it's not very good but that's supposed to be France and this is just gonna be a gift to them and I think it came out pretty good so here's how I made All right, it to start off I got a piece of walnut and this is very rough this was just an off cut and I was going to use this just to throw it in the fire, but I decided to try to make something out of it, and I'm happy because I got this nice piece of walnut here, uh, and I just used my hand plane to make this side nice and flat, whereas this side is smoother, but it's still pretty rough. That doesn't really matter too much because this is just a bandsaw box, uh, so I'm going to just leave this, and there is some tear out, but I'll just make sure I glue this on the inside. Right, and I'm just going to cut this piece in half. Right, and I also cut down some cherry, uh, and these are going to all be glued together. And I want the walnut in the front, so I'm just going to double this up in the back here, and that will be fine. And here it is all glued up. And the glue's been drying for a couple hours, and as you can see, I just drew out this shape here. And all I did to do... Uh, to draw this shape was just use a cup and I kind of made something that looked kind of interesting and I'm going to now cut this out at the bandsaw. Cutting this out, you're going to want to make sure that you have a blade that can follow the contours that you drew on the block and you also want to make sure that you have a blade with minimal teeth so that you can get enough uh, of the sawdust through this. And you're also going to want to make sure that you go slow because if you go too fast it'll gum up the blade and then you won't be able to cut through this. And I've now come over to the sander and I'm just going to start sanding this down a little bit. Right, so after some sanding I came up with this little tool which makes this pencil uh, and it uses a pencil and a nail and it makes it so that there's just about a half inch overlap all the way around and you can use a template for this I just decided to make this little thing I already had this I was using this as a compass once and so I just made it with this half inch offset and that makes it so we've got some walls here and it didn't come out perfect but it's pretty good there we go alright and now I'm just gonna cut this out at the bandsaw Right, and now I got it cut out, but I made a mistake, and some of you may be uh, realizing what my mistake was, and all I forgot to do was cut the back off, and I knew to cut the back off beforehand, and I just forgot. I was telling myself not to forget, and of course I still forgot, uh, so now I'm probably just going to glue another back on here and then use a flush trim bit. Uh, to run around here and uh, clean that back. Right, and right now I'm just gluing up this joint. I put some glue in there and I clamped this down and then wiped the excess glue off because it will be easier to do that now versus later, especially on the inside. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is just let this dry and work on the drawer. And I'm going to start just by sanding the drawer down a little bit. time I'm not going to forget to cut the back and front off. Alright, and now that I have the front and back off, I can cut this part out uh, for the uh, drawer. This will be where you set stuff in. And I just used that same half inch marker thing that I used earlier to trace this out, and I didn't put it on the top, I just ended it, 
and I'm gonna go in, come over here, and come back out. Alright, and so here you can see the piece that we just cut out, and all we have to do is just glue the front and the back onto it again. Right, and I basically what I did is I traced this out and I cut out a, another back for it, and then what I did is I resawed this so it would be a little bit thinner, and I put the other piece on here. And I've got both of these glued up, as you can see, uh, and it's looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and let these dry. I've just been working at sanding this thing down, and it works pretty good now, uh, but next thing I need to do is make a little handle for this. And so I'm just going to use this piece of scrap cherry, and that'll add a nice contrast from this walnut. Right, and I got the drawer pull cut out, and it's supposed to look like France. It's okay. If you put it next to a map, it looks alright. Uh, but anyway, the reason it's supposed to be France is because I'm giving this to my cousins that live in France. We're going to France this summer, and so this is going to be a gift to them, and it kind of looks cool, uh, and I think it's a pretty good sized drawer pull, right now, too. I've already put two coats of wipe-on polyurethane on here, and this is the gloss, uh, and I've put two coats on, I just sanded it just very lightly with some 400 grit paper, and now what I'm going to do is use these tack cloths, which you can get at pretty much any hardware store, I got this at Home Depot, and all you have to do is just wipe off all the dust. Now I already blew this off with a compressor, but just to be safe I'm going to use this tack cloth, and I'd recommend wearing gloves with these things, because these like to uh, stick to your hands. and so I'm just going to wipe this off and then add a final coat of polyurethane. And this final coat's going on pretty well. And that just about wraps up the bandsaw box project. Now, I've been getting kind of sick of all these shop projects lately, and it's nice to just get out in the shop and build uh, something else, some little project. So this was really fun. came out really well. As you can see, here's the drawer on the inside. Uh, and I finished it with, I ended up putting three coats of um, poly, wipe on polyurethane on here. And I really like this. It's a great, uh, great gift and you can really knock it out very quickly. So again, I'm super happy about this, and please subscribe to my channel, Croy Woodworks. Thanks.